Anyways, um, going into the seventh round. The GOAT. The GOAT. X, X3, the GOAT, 3X. Um, running Charizard, Wigglytuff, Machamp, Rhydon, Probopass, and Alolan Marowak. I thought this was a fascinating team. Double Fire uh, and the Rhydon. Mm -hmm. So... I was uh, one of the reasons I brought double tank was to actually um, combat the double fire uh, because I knew it would be pretty prevalent. I was just surprised that I think this might have been the first time I, I've seen like I faced a double fire. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know exactly like what the thought process would be as I was going into this <laughs> match, you know? Sure, sure. Um, Let's see how, how this one goes. Yeah, I don't, I don't really recall the first or second match. I think the third one was pretty vivid. Mm -hmm. And I think the third one I got pretty lucky. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the first two were pretty close. But again, going back to that second round where the Rhydon... Yeah. Like, that always just stuck with me. And uh -huh. I, I knew that Rhydon would be a player mm -hmm. basically every single time I played against it. Yeah. Um, so I had to figure out how to, how to beat that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I did it successfully in the first match. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. Okay, so yeah, let's just jump into the battle then. You're not sure what you led with? <laughs> no okay. clue. I don't remember most of this. <laughs> it was too, many, too, many, too many Bloody Marys. Okay, so you lead off with Steelix. Uh, I don't think it was a good idea. Yep. <laughs> yep. This is a terrible matchup for you. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're just stuck in. You just stay in yeah. with this. And are you just gonna let it go? Nope get probably one charge move off. Nope, you decide to make the switch. Maybe AWAC would have been a better swap. Cross shot does a ton of damage. Yep, and he brings in his Alolan Marowak, but he is going to have to shield this Rock Slide, otherwise it's gonna deal tons of damage to his Alolan Marowak. Does get the shield, so... CMP tie. CM oh, CMP tie. Um, Bone Club, he's gonna farm you down. So Alola Marowak has a decent chunk of energy built up. Just making sure. <laughs> and this Thunder Fang. Oh. oh, CMP tie. You have to block this. And I'm pretty sure the Alola Marowak is going to block this incoming earthquake. You often see me trying to swap just in case <laughs> like, it wasn't a CMP tie. Yeah. So knock out that. Oh, he didn't block it. He didn't block that. No, I was kind of surprised. That's kind of surprising. Saving the shield. Yeah. But I mean, it's over. Yeah. So it's rock slide. Me. Rock slide. Deals a giant. Eat a bunch of. Okay, so about seventy percent of your health. Ugh. Oh, and right on. Oh, right on. He needed that shield for right on. Um, block this. Farm down, and you bring in your yeah. Yeah. Back. GG. The GOAT taking yeah. the first battle. You haven't lost that much in this tournament that, yeah. that since the second second round, well, it feels like. The the difference there too is like he has Machamp and I think we were talking earlier about Evo Stevo, where mm. oh yeah, Machamp it's too obvious. He he's gonna use it. And this one I don't know why. You know, I think the GOAT was uh he was he's an ace level trainer, so for some reason I just had a different way of going about it, but they went with the same exact uh, line, essentially. Yeah, yeah. going into the second battle, um, any recollection of I have to figure out a way to beat Rhydon. <laughs> you have to find a way to beat Rhydon. Rhydon, That's with, all I know. I feel like Rhydon with sh some kind of shield, yep. it just puts a lot of pressure on a lot, yep. a lot of Pokemon because um, it gets to that surf relatively fast. It's fast moves deal a decent chunk of damage. Right. Well, the only thing on my team that actually does anything um, meaningful to ride on is Machamp. Yeah. Yeah. So. Alright, well, let's just let's jump into the battle. To yeah, your Thunderfang Steelix does not do very well against the ride on. It does not. <laughs> so I led with Wigglytuff in this one. Okay. Oh, and you do come oh. against ride on. And so this is a positive matchup for Wigglytuff. And I have the Sableye. Yep, so this is a good matchup for you. It can tank a Shadow Ball, so you decide not to shield no matter what. It is a Shadow Ball, it deals a decent chunk of damage, able to get this foul play off, and I, so... I do forget that Fire Spring could also whittle me down, so I don't know if that was necessarily the best, mm -hmm. no shield. Yeah. 
And you're not able to get to not another foul play. Play. And he has energy charged up at this point. I'm come back with, with Wiggly. Wiggly Tough. Yeah. Because knowing he has a bunch of energy charged up with a little health, it's probably going to be... Okay. But see, at least my entire team could do something against Rhydon. <laughs> right? I got yes, Wiggly, Sableye, and That's true. Champ. Some kind of damage <laughs> to, like, just... Uh, by committee, right? That's how scared I am. <laughs> <laughs> you are able to get um, Machamp against Rhydon, which is a positive matchup. Actually, your two last Pokemon are positive matchups against Rhydon, mm -hmm. so... Um, but he brings in Machamp against your Machamp, and this is... He... I, I think bringing no mm -hmm. tank helped a lot with this one, because mm -hmm. his Rhydon and Machamp... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm able to get you down and yeah you had a shield anyway so well played so able to come back from that first loss and come in with the second one and like you just mentioned not bringing a tank helped combat his his machamp ride on right. combination right um but if you by doing that does that open you up to any what do I give up? weaknesses Charizard maybe, Charizard would Sable have. Sable, I could have still beat the Charizard. Could have beaten it, but you had to get lined up, right? Yeah. Like yeah. because it would have, it would have, like you would have had some trouble. A little in Marowak, it would have been a, a baity situation, right. right? So there's a little bit murky waters there. Yeah, and also Charizard versus Machamp. Mm -hmm. That's also kind of like I'm a baity lucky, situation. I'm just lucky he didn't bring Charizard. <laughs> yeah, Charizard yeah. would have had a K. At this point, does he know that? No, he does know that your Steelix is running Thunder Fang. Right? Yes, he does. So that's yeah. probably one of the reasons why he doesn't want to run Charizard. Uh, so that's showing true, yeah. it first. So yeah, it's paid off in the long run, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this last battle will decide the round. Yes. Um, you lead off with Sableye this time. Uh, Sableye having one, two, three, four, four positive matchups, and yeah, this is one of one. the. Yeah, this is one of the positive matchups. So there was a little bit of lag here. Um, yeah. And he might have had a little bit of lag uh, on the switch out, but we did look at our videos afterwards mm -hmm. just to see. Um, Both but I you. think honestly, like winning that lead matchup and then, then I think the Pokemon that I had in the back and that he had in the back, I, I just don't mm -hmm. think it was, yeah. it was gonna be a complete uphill climb. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't think, yeah, that's a pretty polarizing polarizing matchup yeah um especially in the lead position go ahead and not far but you oh no you got one more rock though mm -hmm. for that huh not sure if it's gonna matter because whatever he brings in that was also probably not the right move <laughs> no but he might shield it anyways yeah. because right on is so squishy you can tell i was making not very good <laughs> <laughs> last minute <laughs> But you needed to get some kind of charge move off right away. Right. Because... And I think he was going to shield regardless. Mm. I just should have tapped the right <laughs> side, you know? Yeah. So, locks that charge move. He gets his charge move off. Bone Club. Yeah, that would have knocked you down a little bit more. Do you think you should have farmed that a little bit? Probably should have farmed a little bit more, but knowing that he had the uh, right on in the back, it mm. would have killed me anyway but now look at that yeah small sliver again yeah that best friend buddy buddy bonus yeah. is like really paying off and we I actually mean, talked about that one because he had um i think he might have had enough energy for two surfs mm -hmm. so if he did knock out my sable eye mm -hmm. could uh could he have gotten two surfs off on my machamp and mm -hmm. won that match uh did your machamp have I did. I had, I had a shield left and energy, and how much, probably like 60% health, health, 60, health, health, so I don't think it would have knocked him out. Yeah. Um, would have been close, though, with the mud slaps. Yes. Would have been close. I'm not, again, like, I'm not 100% yeah. sure, but it would have been close. Yeah. Um, but then he would have had to get, he would have had to get two surfs off in a row, but I also had... Uh, energy. energy yeah so I, I already had a charge Same move here. so it would have yeah. been Same. even if he got one off I shield and then yep. 
So we decided not to replay that just because yeah. it didn't seem like it was going to mm -hmm. be possible. Okay. But yeah, so you end up winning that round. So going Very in. Very lucky with that lead. <laughs> yeah, so at this point, you're 6-1. Uh, 6-1. and, one, six and one. Going into this last round against Menster. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. It, Menster, if you're watching this, uh, hit me up. Let me know how you pronounce <laughs> your name. But he is running a Golbat Pro Pass. This is the first time we're seeing Scrafty yep. in this tournament. And my team is very weak to Scrafty. Also running a Gliscor. Uh, also yep. the first time seeing also Gliscor. Also the first time. Also, not the first time I practice against it, mm -hmm. but I don't have much uh, experience. Experience. I, I think I battled it maybe twice. Yeah. Um, so, Scrafty, you said your team is very weak to Scrafty. Uh, I would say... Scrafty beats Awax, Steelix, Sableye, Pogo Pass. Yeah, your last four Pokemon on this screen right here. Yep. But loses pretty... No, it doesn't lose pretty hard, but it does lose... Uh, oh, it loses really, really hard, hard to Wigglytuff. Wiggly. Yep. Um, kind of like a interesting matchup against Machamp because mm -hmm. neutral damage to Machamp, but you're doing super effective damage yeah. back to I think it. Machamp wins that one. Yeah, Machamp definitely wins that one, but it's not as polarizing as a Wigglytuff versus Scrafty. Mm -hmm. Um, so what do you lead with? Sableye. Uh, <laughs> knowing that the only thing that really, uh, oh, yeah, no Sableye charm, is right? Scrafty. Yeah. So again, I think that's just... A glaring weakness on a team if you don't have a charmer. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't think you could anticipate that people aren't going to bring Sable. I think Sable is just too too good in this yeah. cup. Okay. Um, so I felt pretty safe mm -hmm. bringing Sable. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to necessarily you know think of it as a safe swap, mm -hmm. uh, and I was pretty sure that he was going to lead with Gliscor. Um, just because Gliscor has a uh, decent matchup against uh, you know the tanks if it it's that coin flip right. Yeah. Uh, so I, I thought he was going to lead Gliscor, so I just led with Sableye. And okay. I, I think I brought uh, uh, my champ in the back because the Probo, Scrafty, uh, need to figure out how to, uh, how to deal with them. And and, th and you have Rock Slide to deal with the Golbat. Yep. And, and Marowak if it comes to it, right? Yep. So I forgot what the last one was. Oh, well, find out. we'll find out. Free cutter. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh. Because, yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, we had to restart that one because um, I think he should have gone to his second Night Slash before uh -huh. I get to my second foul play. Okay, so there was some kind of lag. I think there was a little bit of lag. Yeah. Okay, and so you guys just, both agreed? Yeah, we just restarted it. Okay, alright, so good sportsmanship, restart the... Oh yeah, I, I never want to have anything <laughs> yeah. questionable. Yeah. So, so yeah, he should definitely get to the Night Slash before mm -hmm. I get to my foul play. So he gets to his first Night Slash, you go ahead and take that. No boost, so kind of plays out similar to how the last one played out. So this one, I think I charged up to double foul play. Uh -huh. See if the CMP, to, oh, yeah, well, yep. you know, off the shield. Let's see if I can deny a fast move. Ooh. Okay, so you decided to shield one? You decided to shield one? No, no he decided he not shield to any. shield at all. Bring some Probo Pass and, and okay, you're able to one. get one foul play. Does considerable damage. About 30%. A little bit more than 30%, maybe. Bringing Machamp. So I'll trade that. Yep. Sableye and a shield for or one and a half Pokemon. Oh, you bring in Probo Pass. Yes. Is there a reason why you brought in Probo Pass instead of Machamp? Uh, I knew that I already took out half his health. Uh -huh. um, so I'm at a favorable position already. And you saw that he was running Rock Throw? I was more... Uh, here, here's where I did a nice little quick switch. So I was able okay. to do that mirror and he, he was uh, holding off on doing his charge move. Uh -huh. um, so I knew if I did a really fast switch, uh -huh. he was either going to use his... Uh, move or uh -huh. it was just gonna go too quickly, right? I think that's okay. the same mistake I made in that um, what like that fifth round where it just took me way too long to switch out. Mm -hmm. um, so I think if you, I was lucky and caught him by surprise there. Yeah, kind of lulls you to like fast attack, right? Yeah. But able to bring in Probo Pass and fast attack and yep. that. A little in there, so right? he died with the shield too. Yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. 
how because I definitely would have brought in Machamp mm-hmm. um, against his. I think if you brought in Machamp against his Probe Pass, you still would have had a good. Matchup. What I was afraid of was if he had Scrafty in the back. Oh, and because you didn't know could, what was yeah. in the back. Okay. There's no way I could deal with Scrafty if I only had a Probo in the pass. back. That's that's fair. And I don't know what would have happened if he used a shield on his uh, Gliscor mm-hmm. instead of letting it faint with two. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. he, he, he didn't use the shield, right? He yeah. one left. Yeah. All right, well, jumping into the second battle, um, any thoughts? Uh, I think he's going to go with Gliscor again. Uh-huh. I think I lead with Sableye again. <laughs> nope, no, wrong. Lead with Probo Maybe he leads with Golbat. Nope. Okay. See how wrong I am all the time? So this is a positive... How do uh, I get away with this? <laughs> this is kind of a neutral matchup. This is actually pretty neutral, I it's, think. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. I think Sims is IV dependent. Yeah. Oh, he brings in Scrafty this yeah, time. No, this is terrible because both my yeah. Pokemon in the back. Just... Okay, so you bring in a little Marowak. Luckily, he went Power Up Punch, mm-hmm. and you didn't block that. It did. It was kind of fast to get to a Power Up. This was pure luck. I'm not gonna block again, but like, look, look what happens. I've literally never seen this, so I have no idea how any of this plays out. Yeah. So this is going to be resisted. Does a decent chunk of damage, but resisted nonetheless. He should power up punch. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was I think power up punch was the right move. Right. But wow, he oh that's rough. Does AWAC win in the no shield scenario? <laughs> like I've literally <laughs> no idea. Scrafty had some energy in there too though. Yeah. I mean, like, Scraft, I'm pretty sure he could have foul played, but he was trying to... I just knew I wasn't going to spend any yeah. uh, shields, because yeah. I had to get the... Um, well, my entire line was weak to Scrafty. Yeah, so you it was. So I, I, I think I just got really, really lucky. Yeah. Okay, well, Sableye going into Gliscor, uh, able to get one shield, get the second shield. Oh, you already got... Like, you got both shields right there. And it looks like he's almost committing to just wing attacking you down, yeah. but he's probably gonna try to get one night slash in. Does have to eat that. So CMP tie, it looks like. Mm-hmm. CMP tie, you decide to shield this night slash. He has another night slash though. But doesn't go for it. And you're able to get a charge move off. This should deal what? Neutral damage? Yep. I'll knock him out. Knock him out. Surprised he didn't have another charge move. It would have knocked out that yeah. little Marowak. I think he had a lot of energy. Yeah, I feel like that Gliscor had um, an, at least another Night Slash. Yeah. Uh, he, he was wing attacking that, what was it, your Lola Marowak? Or, no, your uh, Sableye, Sableye for a while. Yep. I'm surprised you didn't just let it go. I mean, I think that's also another of these uh, factors you don't really consider, right? This is the last, ra- or last uh, round of the tournament. Yeah. After, what, six yeah. hours? Yeah. You start losing the fatigue. Focus. Yeah, the fatigue just starts to settle in. Right. No, I can definitely see that happening. Um, hell, like I, I'm sure I <laughs> I get tired after like yeah. five rounds. Um, so I think I got really lucky to win that uh, AWAC versus Scrafty matchup because otherwise Scrafty would have just destroyed the entire team. Yeah, yeah. He decided not to shield his Scrafty at all and getting hit by that that Shadow Ball. Right. He, like, and I don't know if the Shadow Ball is the right move. I don't think it's situation. the wrong move because it's Bone only single too. Bone Club's <laughs> yeah. really bad. Um, so, but Scrafty is also not super squishy. Scrafty's surprise is it's pretty tanky, bulky, yeah. especially since it's dark. There's not that many. Most darks outside of Umbreon maybe mm-hmm. are pretty squishy. Yeah. Um, if you look at the likes of like Shiftry or like Crawdon, Straight Beyond. But those are like yeah. I, I, I guess what I'm looking at is like dark types that are si- like single dark types mm. outside of like the poison darks sure um you there know, aren't that many single darks though or like not single darks but darks that aren't dark poison mm. so you're looking at t-tar sure, sure. yeah, yeah. doom i i mean like the list goes on yeah. with like dark they're types they're usually pretty squishy right, right. um scrafty is on the tankier side of 
that that spectrum of mm-hmm. like tanky and squishy dark types. That's true. Um, yeah, surprisingly. Yeah, man. But so you took that two zero, right? Yeah. So very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, congratulations on your seven one. But you. let's watch this last battle. Sure. It's kind of a victory lap for you at this point, but. Yeah, you can tell it wasn't like a very clean, <laughs> clean game all the way around. Um, I, I, I think with any of these tournaments, luck is definitely you know a huge factor, yeah. and thankfully it was on my side. Yeah, for sure. So you get a very positive okay. matchup, <laughs> Scrafty versus Machamp. He switches right away into a little Marowak, gets a little bit of energy I lead. Is, I think this uh, matches hard counter after hard counter. Yeah. Block this Shadow Ball. Gonna go ahead and farm up a little bit more. Double shielding. Double your, shielding. Double shielding your Sableye. Oh, well, oh, beat it. But now I know that I can, you know, get basically farm him down. He could have used another Bone Club. Yeah. Um, Bring in Scrafty. This is a bad move. I should have went foul play. Oh no, no, no. This, this is, is the right move. move. Oh, no. Good job. Good job, mate. Is it? It is. It's. Oh yeah, um, double resisted. resisted. Yeah. Versus double resisted foul play. That's okay. how much this does. Nothing. <laughs> oh, I about to say <laughs> it might be more energy efficient. I don't know. Yeah. But I was able to get two charge moves. Off, yes, right? you you had enough energy for two charge moves either way. Bring in Wigglytuff, <laughs> one charm knocks it yeah, out. Yeah, but then and then my champ. He, he has that's two it. shields again, right? Wow. So it's like just use those shields. There's no point in preserving them. Yeah. So congratulations you. on your amazing tournament. I guess. Last thing I wanted to ask you was from this tournament, if there was one thing that, or like the things that you'd like to summarize and any advice you'd give to anyone that still has their Rose Cup to come, what would it be? Uh, I don't underestimate Sableye. Uh, for some reason, a lot of people were talking and it just seemed like they expected Sableye to not show up. Mm -hmm. Um, I just don't understand why. I use Sableye pretty much every turn that I can. Like freestyle, it's always uh, a staple. And now that the best buddies there could get up to close to 1500. Um, And I think, you know, anticipate that Sableye is going to be there Mm -hmm. and bring a Charmer. (laughs) (laughs) I I know Salty also was on the no no Charm camp. Uh Uh, And he did did fairly well, but I think Mm -hmm. it takes a lot more thinking and, Mm -hmm. you know, prep to, to get to that level. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm more of a little scrub, and I, I want to make sure I have, I have uh, you know good coverage. Yeah, and I think um, just anticipating like the uh, energy advantage, I think is also really powerful, especially for Pokemon like Machamp and Sableye, where mm-hmm. when you sim it, you don't really see yeah. those uh, those victories, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but there's a reason why they're they're ranked so high. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I use uh, PV Poke. Uh, I, I met uh, Mr. Kakuna Matata in real yeah, life. Yeah, uh, really good PV guy, Matt. PV shout PV out PV to you, PV Poke. Yeah. Uh, the most important thing is always just have fun. Yes. Right? There's no, there's yeah, no reason to important. do these tournaments if you're just going to be super anxious and nervous the entire time, and yeah. you forget that the the core of this <laughs> game is to you know have fun, meet meet new people, yeah. um, and just be kind to each other. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. It, that that'll do, pretty much do it for this video or this might actually get split up into two videos Great. quite a long <laughs> tournament but um if you guys have any questions for me any questions for zay feel free to leave them in the comment section down below i'm sure zay might jump in and answer some of the questions as well sure. so uh, yeah that'll do it for this video videos until next <laughs> time guys this is best and west with zay Bye. catch you guys later Bye.